Saturday will mark 20 years since the September 11th terror attacks that killed nearly 3,000 people. The day forever changed all of our lives. And for those who lost loved ones, unanswered questions, anger, and suspicion remain. Eyewitness News reporter Dan Rocco has the story. The families of first responders and those who lost loved ones on September 11th live with the memories every day. And in Patricia Smith's case, I don't have any like independent memories of her. They're fleeting. Smith was just a young child when she was robbed of the chance to grow up with her mother, NYPD officer Moira Smith. It was hard to kind of hear everyone else's stories, but I didn't get that for myself. Despite the memorials, Moira and Smith, the mementos, this necklace I'm wearing is hers. The reality of remembering comes at the cost of resentment. It still makes me angry. Dr. Felix Torres is a clinical and forensic psychiatrist who has worked with the survivors and families of loved ones who died in tragedy. He's seen the gamut of emotions, but for many, the most piercing and enduring emotion is the anger. Anger can manifest itself in many ways. It could be directed at other family members. It could be directed at the government, the terrorists, uh, even themselves uh, and, and their loved ones who were lost on that day. For Patricia Smith and her dad, the anger is in the absence of justice. I think we both kind of have the same notion that um, justice delayed is justice denied. And now we're 20 years later with no justice. So while the old adage tells us that time heals all wounds, Dr. Torres will tell you it's not entirely accurate. Time itself is not a healer. It may actually reopen those partially closed wounds. But for others, connection to the museum isn't just about honor. I couldn't bring him home, so this is his home for me. Diana Rocco, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Mm.